Hello, everyone. I am just finishing up my embossing powder of the month. Kind of waiting for everything to catch up here. Let me know when you are here. I see there's a few people who've joined us. And I see my YouTube is caught up. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Or maybe it hasn't. Let's see. What's going on here? Hello, Jill. How are you? Let's see. There we go. Now we're live. All right. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Kelly. I'm going to switch my camera over real quick. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Francie. I did my heat embossing, Francie, when you weren't around, so you didn't have to see it. Hi, Penny. Hi, Mom. I did it on big pieces of paper, though. Hi, Karen. So I just finished doing the, I am good. Hope you are good. Hi, Kate. Hi, Tina. So this is the Enchanted Dragon. I just finished heat embossing it. Quick on my little swatch. So these have been all like the ones that have come out that aren't, you know, evergreen, you know, Polar and um, Nebula, Raspberry Tart, Enchanted Dragon. So all that. Hi, Luann. Hi, Crazy Cat Lady. So my neighbor just got home. So if you guys can hear the music, let me know and I'll shut my window. But it's finally warm enough to keep the windows open. So I'm going to start by showing you a couple of the cards I made. I got my design team stuff on Monday. So I haven't gotten, um, um, cause it was, it was over the weekend, you know, I'm dumb things. So I played with the add-ons and I wanted to show you a couple cards I made. So this is what the Once Upon a Time set and the, um, vintage plaid paper. Um, and I just colored them with some old, um, alcohol markers. And then I created this card with the crossed hatch stencil. And then I used Crown Me ink and the, uh, Royal Flush Solar Paste um, and just a couple of areas. And I just thought I'd show you a couple fun cards that I made. Thank you. So that's all I've really had a chance to play with so far. I did get my box open. I cut my dies apart. And tonight we are just going to use, other than like ink, tools, and some cardstock, we're only going to use what's in the box. Okay. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Christy. Thank you very much. So I did stamp some stuff out ahead of time. I hope you don't mind if I do a little fast coloring. Um, I'm going to do a play on a trifold card. Hello, Walter. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm not going to sing, I promise. You don't want me to sing. So we are not going to do a lot of coloring, but we're going to do a little coloring, okay? Yeah, that solar paste was really fun and... Um, I'll show you, like, so on here, I only used it, like, right here, and here's the crown me, and then I used the solar paste on both, the, both daisies, this is, um, is it aubergine? It's aubergine, and then I just put it over the top, and then I used it on the vellum as well. So it's kind of hard to see it, and it's, I mean, you can see the shine, but I really like how it worked on top of the crown me ink, and gives that little bit of... So I thought it's really fun. I don't use the solar paste too often, but um, I just thought I'd do it. And I was going to say, this is how I'm storing. This is what I used. And I just put a Velcro dot on the top. And I rinsed this out really good with some water. And that's how I'm going to store my little do dauber. Same thing when I eventually start using, you know, like lunar pastes or something like that, too. So let me get that out of the way. But... Thank you, Walter. I had to make a purple birthday card for myself. <laughs> it's actually not for myself, but purple is my favorite color, and I thought I would um, make a birthday card with that. So I just thought that that would be a good way. I store all of my, I use foam daubers for all of my ink blending on full panels, and I save them on dots on the side of my ink tray. Um, I can't show you because it's up there, so... But yeah, those pastes are really fun. So we're just going to do a little bit of fast coloring. I'm not going to do anything super detailed. I do have to get my little cheaters out. Thank you, Tina. I only have a few. I think I have one solar paste. I have a few lunar pastes. I kind of always forget to grab them because I tend to use the glitter glaze and the chroma glaze more than anything. But they are fun for different reasons, for other reasons, different reasons and doing different things and the shininess and things like that. So, but I appreciate it. So we're just going to do some fast coloring. 
um, I'm just going to grab some different markers. I'm going to just color pluck and then we're going to put our card together. But I only really wanted to use stuff that was in the box if I can. Hi, Cherie. Hi, Tia. Um, and we're just going to do a little coloring here and there. I think we're just going to do one layer. I'm really not going to do a whole lot of blending. Um, I will say I saw a card by Laura, who I met at Create Your Own Ending, and she, it was on the fan club group today. And I loved how she colored and did a little of her um, shading, and I might do a little bit of that tonight. So um, this is, I'm just going to do some color plucking, which means I'm just going to grab cons. That's the BV2-0 of the Olo. Um, we're just going to grab a few. We are going to use Aubergine purple tonight again, because it's my favorite. Um, and this is the Violet 2.3. Uh, I really am liking the Olos. Oh, you know what, though? I do want to do. I stamped these all out on Perfect Blend cardstock. And um, and uh, with the Raven ink. So, and then I do want to put a piece of copy paper underneath. This is just one of my packing slips because it helps um, with leading, I have found. So, hope everyone's having a great day and a great April so far. It's been kind of a crazy week. Um, you know, I'm, unfortunately, my Hawkeyes fell a little short and didn't win on Sunday, which was my hope. Um, you know, I did get to see them play. That was my wish was that they'd win the championship on my birthday, but um, it was okay that they didn't. They played really well, and South Carolina was amazing. Um, and I got, got to have my hamburger, which is what I really wanted, or my cheeseburger, and um, spent the day with my puppy and my honey. So, and then Monday was kind of quiet. It was exciting. I got my stuff. You blame the eclipse. Nah, it's, it's just South Carolina is an amazing team. Um, it's all right. Let's see. We're going to use 2.4 now. Just some different parts. What's a Hawkeye? It's a Hawkeye. Melissa is the Iowa girls. That's the Iowa, the University of Iowa's mascot. And uh, they, the girls were in uh, the the. The, the national championship game for the second year in a row, and they fell short. Uh, Melissa, I f it's been kind of crazy. I don't know if you've seen any news of anything, but it's been all over the place about a girl by the name of Caitlin Clark. She's from Iowa, and she has done amazing things for the best. I mean, there's been an amazing basketball players in general. I have fallen in love with women's college basketball, and so I've been watching a lot of it this year, not just the Hawkeyes. I mean, I watched a lot of the NCAA tournament this year. I only watched a little bit last year, but I watched oh, almost every game this year, every team that I could. So, yeah, she is. She is. They're actually celebrating them tonight um, at the at um, at the football or at the, the arena. They're having a in down in Iowa City, which is about an hour and a half from where I live. So I'm just going to do some just fun kind of coloring. Like I said, I'm not really doing any shading because I don't want to spend all night coloring. You guys don't want to see that all night. Um, we'll do some fast coloring here. And uh, we're doing purples because I want to. I am in love with the dragons too, Ellen. I am, they're so fun. I can't wait to have more time where I can just sit and play and color them. I've got two of these guys out. We're gonna make like a little another little birthday card since it's birthday work week. And then we're gonna do a little play off um, a card. Oh, I have tape stuck to my shirt. <laughs> a play off a trifold card that I have seen done on Tailored Expressions. And I figured out the measurements because I wanted them a little bit different than what I um than what they used. And I think this will be fun. So it's been real fun to watch so far what people have created and used with this release and i do try to at least every month whether i it might not be always on a live but on a in a video try to make two to three cards this tonight we'll just make one um, with just using the items in the box and then like i said so maybe some other other uh card stocks and inks but other than that 
Yep, uh, Melissa, I, 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 football, I love football, and I got into college football this year, or the last few years, actually. I got into college football because one of the local boys from my town, a former student of mine, was a kicker for the Iowa Hawkeyes, and then he was the long snapper. He's a year older than my daughter, so I started watching college ball. Two, four times, two for you and two for your niece. And then I just, I mean, I've always been a Minnesota Vikings fan, you know, being from Minnesota. I've always watched pro, but I started watching college ball and I've really fell in love with it. Okay. I am going to say that I have found just a little bit of, I know that Copics do this, but I've had a little bit of this year of my Olos. I don't know if it's the, um, doing a little bit of a burping kind of thing. So I just, they don't have the open ends, so I did want to say to be, you know, kind of keep an eye on it. I kind of just push it off to the side. I think it has to do with the pressure in the air. Hi, Linda from South Hills of Pittsburgh. Yep, I have, a, my son was a, he, he didn't, he ran cross country and track. He did play football when he was younger, but, um, in peewees, but he didn't play a ton of football. He was a runner, so. College football is better than the pros, in my opinion. Yes, Mom. Yes, I would agree with you. But I do I do like watching. Um, even college ball was fun this year, like I said. Basketball. And I'm excited to continue watching. It's just been fun. So, anyway, that's what we did Sunday. And then Monday, I got my stuff. So, I was super excited. And I... Um, you know, got some of it ready, and I can't remember what else happens Monday. It was kind of a crazy day, but yesterday, I was fortunate enough. It does that extra ink makes me nuts, too. Yesterday, I was, I just got back to work from my lunch, and I happened to open my computer, and I use Facebook for work. You know, I post things on there for my our business that I work at, and one of my sorority sisters was asking for directions to our local football field track for the day and um it's funny she only lives about 30 minutes away from me but I've only seen her twice and since I left college and we actually joined our sorority together the same year and she was coming so I spent the evening last night at the track meet and had a lot of fun catching up with her it was junior high track meet and I, Walter, you've been doing a great job. I cannot wait till this weekend to have uninterrupted time to play as long as the dog lets me. But, um, so anyway, I spent the day at the track. I saw a couple of people because I used to help out with our track meets every year. And lo and behold, I got a text message today <laughs> saying the person who is doing the job that I used to do isn't available tomorrow. For, I think I did that for like eight years eight or nine years I did I worked at the track meets um so that's what I'm doing tomorrow night I popped out briefly just to see a tiny bit we were only 90 percent coverage the funny thing is with the eclipse is that um it was I got back from work and it was just getting started and it got so bright in my office because it was so dark outside that I was like, it was hurting my eyes, actually. So, like I said, I popped out briefly to look at it, but I don't. I didn't really have glasses, so I really didn't look at it. Um, so, it, and it was over really fast here. Like, it was in and out. I might change the balls on the top of these castle here, but there we go. Got a very quick colored castle. Oh, yeah, that's awesome to go to the, the final, the Elite Eight, maybe the final four. It was really fun to watch. Um, we watched a little bit of the boy, men's, but we watched mostly the girls this year. It was just really fun. All right, I have two little butterflies here. We got to keep an eye on those guys. We don't want them to get lost. We are going to use some of the marble paper. And I pulled out a couple of sheets. That's kind of where the purple's coming from. I really don't want to use the blue. So I think we are going to pull some green in for the dragons. It was great in Ohio. That's I saw some great photos, but like I said, it was a little cloudy here and it was, um, so you couldn't see it too much. 
Um, there was a lot of clouds at the time. So we're going to color up these dragons really quick and fun. Um, oh, yeah, the girls. I know they were just crazy watching those three pointers. And I mean, there were so many three pointers, but I just couldn't get over um, Caitlin's three pointers. Some of them from she made one almost from the half court shot on Sunday at the game. It was just nuts. And just all the fun. I mean, they were all after it. It was a great game. It was fun to watch. Um, you know, we've had an up and down year. I mean, not an up and down year. They've had a really good year. They only lost a few games this year. <laughs> One to my friend, our friend Michelle's Nebraska team. But um, the Big Ten tournament, it was funny. We couldn't watch the championship game because it wasn't on. I don't have TV. And so I had to listen to it through YouTube and it was kind of, it was so nerve wracking. The dog was going nuts because we were bouncing all over the place. But it's fun to watch that and see it grow and see kids liking sports because it feels like that's kind of going away, in my opinion. So, but I hope everyone's been enjoying the release so far. And um, your favorite, I have been so excited for this release since I knew the dragons were coming. Um, I just wanted to just color them. So we are going to color our dragons the same because these are going to be basically the same dragon on two different little scenes. So, and I want to show you kind of, I'm not going to do it exactly the same, but um, kind of how I saw Laura color and shade her dragons um, a little bit here. So I'm super excited for the dye of the month. I haven't even, I've got to look at it, but I haven't even cut it apart yet. I am excited to get that going and play with that and make all sorts of things in the snow globe. And start kind of doing a deep dive through my stash to see what else will fit in there. I, Penny, have you stamped them out yet? Have you got yours yet? And did you see if the the other stamp set fit in there at all? Okay, I shall have to do that. I might have to do that. I kind of forgot about it till just tonight. There was a stamp timber set that was a, a while ago that some of us have, and I'm hoping it fits inside of it. So, all right. So there we've got our. So this is how I saw um, um, Laura shade. She just took. And just kind of went along the edge and it was oh it's burping it's burping look at that look at that burping i might have to ask them because i've never had that issue until this last spring but like i said we've had up and down weather so bad right now that i know that sometimes it's with the pressure but like that i think that's what happens that's my non-professional opinion but she just did a little bit around the edges He said, dragons do poisonous gas damage. The glass cloud you have laying on your desk wound it up. With them. <laughs> yeah, they definitely. Oh, I'm starting to leak a little bit here again. I'm going to have to find out what's going on with this. All right. Oh, okay. We're going to stop there because this one's leaking a lot. And I don't want it to wreck that. But that's kind of how she did. I'm going to pull that up a little bit. Oh, yes. she was sh Penny was shaking her head. Oops. So she just did a little bit around the edges and you can see where my thing burped. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my little white gel pen and get it started. And maybe, maybe this gel pen. Hello, T, right? I'm trying to be good about that. Remember, that is probably not a pen that's going to work. We'll put that one away. There we go. My one Olo marker kind of blew up on me. So I just fixed that a little bit and that will work perfectly. So there you go, see? And he's just got one dark spot on his face, but we're gonna let that go. Hello, Heather. So we're gonna let that one kind of sit and dry. We're gonna color up the smoke quick and then we're gonna get out of pink. So for the smoke, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my um, tri-blend markers. We're just gonna add a little bit of gray. I'm gonna use the dark, this is the medium. And I'm just going to kind of go around the edges, kind of just put some little swirlies in it. And then I will use the light. Make sure I'm using the light. 
and kind of go around the edges a little bit. And then I'm going to grab, actually, I do not have a colorless bundle right now. I need to refill it. So I had been using, let's see if I can find it, my BG 7.0 from Olo. I don't mind this. It depends on the image. I haven't had a lot of bullet tips. I've gotten used to coloring with them, but um, the brush, so it doesn't bother me too bad. So we're just gonna let that sit kind of outside and then I'm gonna grab a little pinky, pinky, pink and we're gonna color up our dragon with some pinks. Like I said, we're not doing a ton of color. I'm just gonna of uh, shading tonight. This is gonna be fast. I'm just gonna. I am gonna do a little bit with these spikes. And his belly a little bit. Oh, his belly's gonna be dark. So he's gonna have pink belly, pink claws. And then we'll grab the other side with this light and just kind of feather it out. And then we're going to start getting our card together. Here, we got to do the other one quick. So I can't believe the change in weather we've had here. With the We had all the snow and cold weather. And now, like I said, I have my windows open. I had to open up the windows. I actually have shorts on because I'm sweaty. It gets really, it gets warm in my craft room, mostly because I think it's a front porch. Um, and... Uh, so you usually have a fan going in here in the summer. And uh, I had to open the window tonight. We're gonna, not gonna, we're gonna color his belly a little bit darker, but then we're gonna try to shade it just a little bit just to give him some roundness. So, alrighty. So like I said, I, I know I don't normally do a lot of coloring on the live, but I wanted to do a little bit tonight just because I hadn't had a chance to pre-color. Oh, I we missed a we missed a spot of his his arm over there, didn't we? All right. So let's get that done and then we need to do his tongue. Did I do the right colors on that? Yeah. We're going to go back and hope that Okay. I just lost it. There it is but lost it, that hopefully this one doesn't burp on me. I'm gonna try to lighten that little spot up a little bit. There we go. All right, so we're gonna do his tongue quick. Um, I'm gonna do just a little bit different pink. I'm not really gonna do a red, I'm gonna do kind of a light. I don't have a deep red yet in the uh, Olos, I have a very light red, so we'll just use that one. All right, there we go, you guys. Got our coloring done. Oh, we didn't color our little bugs. Sorry about that. Let's do those quick. We'll kind of put about the same colors. I love the little bugs that were inside the set, you guys. Oh, you keep power. Oh, I hope you keep power, too. Let's... Power, power, power for you. Let's do some purple. You are totally fine, Sarah. I was just doing some coloring, mostly because I didn't have time to color ahead of time. And I thought it would be fun to do. I don't do a ton of coloring on my lives, just mostly because um, no one really wants to sit and watch you color. I don't mind doing a little. But, all right, and then for a little bit of, for the, I'm going to use the dark for the body, just because I always feel like bodies are kind of dark on bugs. All right, so there we go. We've got most of our coloring done. Um, Donna, this, these, I, normally that's what you would do with an Olo, or with an Olo, there is no two ends. So, see, this is what an Olo marker is. So there's only one end. So you can't, I would probably have to just let it sit and sit out like this. Um, so I can't, I can't do that. There, what the nice part about the Olos is, is that you can decide if you want to have them just little. You can get them with the brush and the, bill, bill, the bullet, and then you can put them together. It has these little things like the, these little connectors, but this is how they would come. And then you can choose, I bought the sets. 
but you can choose if you order them separately to buy that and things like that. So you can put the colors you want together. So like this is 2.3 and 2.5. So they work well together. But for example, I was trying to find one that I didn't have the, like I don't have one that was close to this number, PG.07.0. So I put that one on with my B2.0 because they're both really light colors. Um, not that they are the same. So I've they're still fairly new to me. Um, Olozar, um, I haven't used them as much. I need to use them more. So I'm not sure why that was doing that other than I've had that happen with the pressure with my um, Copics. So, all right, let's get moving into the, bang, the main part of our card. We are going to use aubergine. This is my favorite color other than lunch bag, which is, you know, tan. Thank you, Francie. I did see your comment about the coloring. I enjoy coloring too. I just don't know if everyone always wants to watch it. So I took the measurements that um, it's Susan Block is the, the girl, the person who showed me how to do this. Um, like I said, from at Taylor's Expressions on a live once. And I am loving this release too, Sarah. And I took her measurements and I changed them up briefly. And so my measurements are going to be a little weird. So this is 11 sheet of paper. We're going to cut this down to nine and three. I can't use this. I don't want to do that kind of math. <laughs> I need this one. I don't have the big daddy trimmer yet. So um, nine and three fourths. And this blade is horrible. So you'll have to forgive me if it's got a little jagged edges on it. And then we need this at six because this is going to be a mini slim trifold card okay yeah i'm hoping you don't have to lose power please no so there we go basically we're going to make a card that look this is my sample that we're going to make a card a trifold card okay so like i said this measurements are nothing i came up with other than that i sh i shortened the ones that um, that she used. So I've got, I had to get out my big daddy score body. So if it's, I hope I'm on camera there. And we're going to score at three and a quarter. Hopefully I'm doing this right. We're going to find out. And what I like to do, since this is a heavier cardstock, is um, score it a few times. And then it's at six and a half. Which, if I wasn't sure, what I did is I actually turned it around and did it. If you don't have a longer scoreboard, you could turn it around to do three and a quarter on both sides. Uh, eggplant is a very pretty color too, Melissa. Um, we need a, I want a slate first. I want the slate first to come in. I know that was going to be coming in. I don't, um, a gray. And then, yes, we need that. There's a lot, we lots of colors we could add because, you know, the more colors, the more fun we have. And then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to burnish this. Hello, Lisa. I am going to go ahead and fold this and burnish this. You do not have to do this step right now, but I'm going to so that you can kind of see the lines of what I'm going to do. Um, let's see, I want it to go. Let me see the folds here. Yep, I want that one to fold this way. So then I want this one to fold this way. The big thing, you can have it go either direction. But the big thing you want is that they want to, you need them to fold the opposite way. Okay. So you can have it fold this way or you can have it fold this way. Um, and so I'm going to do it this way. And then this is how I, she showed me how to do this is with a regular paper trimmer. Is, so this is how you can kind of make your own out of any of your own cardstock. You need a bigger paper trimmer. And we're going to take this corner, which is the opposite corner, the bottom corner, and we're going to stick that up at three and a quarter-ish. It doesn't have to be perfect, whatever you want it to be, about about three and a quarter. And then it's going to be off screen just a little bit. Let's see if I can move this up. And then this corner is the top, and we want that just to be at the cut edge, but we don't want to cut into that. So I'm going to move it down a little bit, so I'm sorry if I'm off. Just a little bit. You can have your angle cut however you want. 
but that is how she explained it and that's how I did it. So then I just cut it from there to there. Like I said, I put this, this corner at three and a quarter and then I angled it so that this was touching where the blade was gonna be. And now I have my little threefold card. So I thought this would be a fun, I don't do a lot of fun folds and I should. So I thought this would be a fun way to, um, to do this. So my thoughts are, is we're gonna get our, have our little castle kind of sticking out and we're gonna have this guy in here kind of blowing with our sentiment. And then there were, I had two options, but I think because um, my first option I think is gonna be is we're gonna use this guy with his little friends on the front, okay? Um, we also can decorate this side, but uh, we're not gonna put anything on it. It's just gonna be seen a little bit. Or you, we could leave it as purple. It, it'll be fine that way and we could decorate just the inside. Okay, does that make sense? Does everyone understand how I did that? Okay. And I will put the measurements down below um, in the description tomorrow of what I used. So now how we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of this paper. I think this is so fun and we're gonna cut it down and um, awesome. And then, so this is how I, it was explained to me since these are one, two, three and a quarter, three and a quarter across. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down. So it's just got an eighth of an edge showing. So what is that? If it's three and a quarter, it was three and an eighth, right? And I do want that purple up there. And then the easiest way that I learned how to do this is to put your cardstock in. And what you do is I'm going to push it up just a little bit like this. And we're going to flip it over on the back. Hold on, I'm going to open this up so I get my finger in there. Yes, it is very, this is the first time I'm using it, Ellen. I love it. I want to do all sorts of foiling and things like that with that. So I'm, I'm going to do a almost a double kind of thickness down at the bottom there. And we're going to fold this over. And we're going to grab a pen and we're just going to draw a little line. I'm going to do that on both sides. And then you could draw a line through the whole thing if you really want to, but I think I can do it with my paper trimmer. Then I'm going to cut my paper at an angle and just measure those up at the edge. And nobody's going to, you're not going to see that. So if you don't cut perfectly on that line, people are not going to see that line because it's going to be folded down. Now, if I did this right, see, now I've got the perfect front. See how that is? Isn't that kind of fun? I was really excited to learn how to do this. I watched, I actually watched the video on how she did it a couple of times. And I still have this piece left. And um, it kind of depends on what you want to do. You know, you can do this, but it, if you look, this one has a little bit more edge, so I'm not going to use this one here. So we're going to go ahead and grab another sheet and do that again, three and an eighth. Uh, da, 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 da. And then we're going to do once more. Now, this is up to you how much of this you want down. Because you could actually tape that down so that when you open it up, if you wanted to, it wasn't necessarily a Z-fold card. But I'm going to go ahead and decorate the whole thing. So I'm going to do the same thing. Uh-oh, I hear a helicopter coming. I'm going to hold it in there. And I'm going to have it doubled up at the end, and I'm going to turn it over. And I'm right in the path of the hospital, so I'm sorry if it gets a little loud in here. That's what it sounds like anyway. It might not be. It might be a large, large, loud truck, but um, if it gets loud, I apologize. Even this side. Oh, I should have used that side. Look how pretty that is. That's fine. We're going to cut this off and, oh, that might be even end up being the side we need to use now. And I've got this side that goes right here. Okay. 
they are and this is is it's a beautiful paper and i love it and so then we're going to do one more for the back side um and then you know and we would you wouldn't have to do the inside because we're going to decorate it so we might start putting it together and decide if we want to put more more paper more marble paper in it so we got lots of birthdays coming up so i'm gonna say it before i forget happy birthday tomorrow penny i don't want to forget tomorrow i like to be able to tell people in person if they can but you know it's been quite the week of birthdays surprises and funs so go ahead and eyeball this you can use liquid glue if you want i've gotten to the point where i'm just eyeball it anymore because you know what? It's it's handmade. Oh, it's fr that's right. I keep thinking, no, Penny, I was thinking tomorrow was Friday. Never mind. It is Thursday only tomorrow, isn't it? I lied. Don't no happy birthday tomorrow, Penny. I keep thinking it's Thursday, which is weird because I don't I'm not live on Thursdays. I think it's because I was all off with being gone last night, and I'm never gone during the week, so. This one we're going to kind of just eyeball. I might have cut this one a little bit. This one needs a tiny trim, guys. We're going to trim it just a hair. Just a hair. And hope that I can cut it straight. There we go. I was arranging dies in your manana sheet. One of the dragons has a butterfly. You know what? I think mine do too. I think mine has butterflies and flowers in his tummy. Because that's how I like to keep them. I was trying to make sure I had enough, a big enough magnet for him. I'm going to have to order some more. I'm almost out. So, all right. So there we go. We've got the beginning of our photo. I mean, look at how pretty this is just like this. <laughs> he's a nervous or he's in love. He's got butterfly in his. I mean, it's just beautiful. Just this. I mean, you can, you can keep adding more of that paper, which we might do. But I thought we would start with this. We're going to go ahead and add these guys down. Let's get some glue. We're going to use a little bit of both because it's shiny paper. And I like to make sure it's stick. It is. It's so pretty. I, I mean, I may have to order another one of these paper pads. I just want to put it in my stash and never use it, right? All right. So we've got this guy. And this guy reminds me of my puppy. He looks like he's ready to just play. It is way too much glue. So we're going to dab that down. So we're going to go ahead and find our little butterflies. And we're going to put them in. And we're going to poke Francie in the eye. He's only got two little butterfly friends. But that's because then that means there's three of them, right? So we're going to put this guy and this guy. Oops. I must not have used enough glue. There we go. So we've got that. Yeah, he looks like he's just ready to, it's not tall enough to do the damage. Yeah, he just looks like he's ready to pounce and jump and play with these guys. So I thought that was fun to play with those. <laughs> All right. And then this is where you can have some fun. You could put this right here. You could put this right here. You could put, you know, this guy peeking out right here. You could keep going. But I think... I don't know if I want to put, because we're going to put this in. I don't know if I want to put more marble paper in here or not. I'm thinking we need to. Just because I feel like it's it's going to get, it, it needs more. So, but look at this piece. It's super close. It's super, super close. It's a little bit too narrow. So we will have to grab some more. I'm using up my whole paper pad, you guys. That's all right. Let's see, I'm gonna grab this one. And this is three and a half, so we need to do it again. That's three and an eight. I think we're gonna do it this way so we get a lot of that fun gold. And then it's six inches long and my card is six inches. So yeah, yeah, T, it could be. It's so funny, yes, I. Yeah, it could be. I think so. So put the fire one. I mean, if you think about it, it's a dragon. 
you know, here, I'll show you. Um, I took the stamp off so you could see it, but yeah, you could do that with the dragon too. Let's see. Here, I'll get it up closer so you can see. I mean, you could do either one. <laughs> I'm sure there's a snarky stamp set out there that you could totally put with that of some sort. All right, so that looks about perfect. I think I want that gold up at the top, though. Yeah, we're going to do the gold up at the top. Yeah, hot wings for dinner. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is, you guys. I don't even... Maybe we want to use this side. Let's use... What side? This side? Yeah, let's use that side. It's just so pretty. It's just pretty, pretty, pretty. We're going to put that down. And it's going to get a little covered up, but that's okay. <laughs> I I don't know, uh, T. I just know I was thinking that it was, it does look like sunset. Well, just think of all the other, I mean, you got all sorts of cards you could use that for. I mean, it even could be for a train, because remember the train set that was out a couple Christmases ago? That could be the smoke coming out of the train. So we've got this. And we've got, and I did not do the butter, the car. I think we're going to go up a little bit higher. Well, I don't think we're going to go up too high because we need to make sure it fits in our card. So we're going to just kind of have, give it a hint. Give it a hint. Or do we want to put it, what do you think? Do we need it in the end? Do we need it? Here? No, because you won't see it. Yeah, there we go. Just a hint of it. And then this guy's going to go over here. with this and then we've got our little sentiment here i'm actually thinking you guys i am going to leave this purple the reason i'm going to leave this cardstock is because it does kind of look like it's sitting on the clouds because this shiny paper might not like every kind of pen and i'm doing a lot of decoration on it so this would be a good area to write your message so that's why i'm going to leave that the way it is so, and I, I just think I loved the castle. I couldn't resist not using the castle. Um, you know, there are three dragons in the set, so you could use one dragon on each one of these um, scenes, but I just thought I had to use this castle. It's just, it will end up in the fold, but we'll make it work. We're going to make it work. I can promise you that. I know how to do that. It will be just fine because I have an idea for that. Because I'm wondering if I put it on here, let's see. No, that's not going to work. But, yep, we're going to make the puff work. Actually, we're going to do it like this. How does that? We're going to do it so it's up in the air. It won't be on the fold. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and glue this down. And I'm not gluing all the way because I'm not sure if I want... The puff to, you know what I was going to do though? Too late. It's already glued down. Yep, already glued down. I was going to add some of the peacock feather stuff behind it, but I'll have to do that on another card. I don't know if I want it stuck in his mouth all the way. I think we're just going to stick it out a little bit. And um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I like the purple tier too, because like I said, it's, it's a good way to write a message or you could add more. We're just going to put it on right like this. And what we're going to do, make sure it's nice and we're going to fold it over and we're just going to see what happens. It'll work. It'll be just fine. And then we're going to put, I think we'll put that up there too. It'll give us my clock. My, I just noticed my, you guys, my castle is not, it's not, we are going to put this here because yeah, sentiment would have to say, hope your birthday isn't stinking. That's That would work for that. So we've got that. But I think what's missing is I think we're missing, we need the cloud. I think we need the cloud. I think if we put the cloud in and, it'll kind of, and we color it, it'll kind of remind me of smoke. <laughs> so we're going to stamp that out quick. I hope that's okay with you guys. And we're running just about on time. 
so we're going to quick grab our Misty and whatever I have left for paper here. There we go. Yeah, I think we got to add we got to add the the cloud to the bottom of this. We could probably put some of the halo the halo um fun fibers because that would be real fun for that, but we're going to go ahead and just do the cloud that comes with the stamp set. Stamp that out and just color it up quick and that will work really well. All right, let's make sure that's up in the corner in case we have to stamp it more than once. There we go. So I haven't figured out what I want to play with next. I'm thinking I'm gonna play with the die of the month, but I do have a couple of ideas for the stamp of the month. And so those might be the ones I play with first. I just, I don't know. I love to color. And so this is a fun release for me to color because I don't color that often anymore. I do a lot more ink blending and heat embossing, which is great too. I'm just gonna dry it just a little bit just because I have a really juicy stamp set and we are gonna kind of make this look like clouds. Oh, I don't want the dark. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna use the light. It's kind of a cloud, but kind of like smoke. I want it to kind of mimic that it's coming out and it's still the, the smoke. And then we'll just quick kind of do this. And I mean, I'm just thinking about grabbing like um, pearl embossing or pearl aqua pigment and uh, making everything so sparkly and shiny or what else is there The you know, the gilded or some of the uh, aqua splashes and painting these up. So I'm look, gonna get my aqua pigments out this weekend and my aqua pigment paper, and I'm going to color these guys up. I think it'd be fun to do some ink smushing with these dragons with just a few different colors, you know, like um, do some ink smushing and then heat emboss over them. Yep. That's what I'm going to do, Ellen. It's going to look like the cloud is floating underneath our... It might be a little long, but we're going to make it work. We're going to make it look like it's floating uh, with our castle. That's awesome, Melissa. I, I love the color. I just don't do it as often as I used to. I think partly because it takes time. And it's not that I don't have time to do it. I just don't. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of use it right like this because I want it to kind of mimic that it's the same, it's coming off the smoke like this guy here a little bit. So. I mean, it's 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 kind of a cloud, but I think it will be fun just to add it right like this. And we've got that. I think, I don't want to add anything else to it because I really wanted to only use what was in the box. Otherwise, I would use some of the beautiful gems. I just got them in the mail. But um, I really wanted to, like I said, just use this box stuff tonight. So here is our fun. All right, Melissa, I will do that. I will do that. You know what? Do you want to, we can add a little bit. We can add a little bit of that tonight. I'll do a little bit right now for you, Melissa, okay? So I keep it on my desk all the time. Matter of fact, here it is. I'm gonna shake it up. We're gonna add a little bit right now. I'll show you one of the favorite things I like to do with this. So I'm just shaking it up off camera so that you don't. And uh, maybe next week, that's what we can, I'll play with uh, aqua pigments and the pearl and show you a couple different ways I like to use it. So, but this is one of my favorite ways. We just need a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead, <laughs> we got a mess, you guys. Throw some water, because when I when I color, I don't, I want to dilute it. I want it diluted quite down because I want my color of all the work that I did to show through. I'm trying to find my glasses. I had everything cleaned up so nice, you guys. And I'm gonna take my paintbrush, we're gonna mix it in with this water, and that's why I'm diluting it, because I'm basically making my own shimmer. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our dragon's little wingies. 
shimmery here. And the reason I, like I said, I diluted it is because you're going to be able to see all the color underneath, but it will add that fun shimmer. And I will show you a sample of what I mean in just a minute. We're going to make the bugs a little shimmery. So this is absolutely, this is my favorite way. I have two, the other way is just to add shimmer to other, and I will show you that next week. We'll do some ink smushing and stuff with it. We got, but we got the same dragon hair, so we got to do it here. Oh, we got to make his horn shimmery too. I don't know if I'm going to make his belly shimmery. I'll think about it. What do you guys think? Should I get the belly? You got your gems today too. And this paper pad. Oh yeah. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Mine came yesterday. They, they, they decided, they decided they missed the, the, they missed the East Coast. So instead of coming on Monday with everything else, they shipped and went all the way back. They went to Cincinnati. And then they came back. So they were a day late. But that's okay. I got them now. Okay. So now it's not 100% dry. And I'm going to try to show you that. It's going to be really hard to see a little bit of the shimmer. But you can kind of see. Oh, there we go. All right. See that shimmer on there? So that's what makes it fun. I think he needs a shimmery belly too. I mean, other than, you know, the obvious of, of throwing it as a, um, what's it called, splatter. You know, you can always add splatter to make it like um, stars and you don't need a lot. It can last, I'm actually down. I used to have three bottles and I am down to one. So I'm gonna have to order some. I had a tiny bit left in one bottle, so I combined it with my other one. So there we go. So that is my favorite way to do this. Now, um, let me grab a quick piece of paper here. I don't know what kind of cardstock this is, but I'm just gonna, we're gonna do two little shimmer here. And I'm gonna show you a little bit. This is, this is what I feel like anyway. Okay, so this is the diluted version. I'm gonna put it on there. And this is why I was telling you I like to dilute it. You'll, you should be able to see the difference here and then here's this full strength oh maybe it's not gonna be able to... okay you think it might depend on what it is i lied but i guess you know what it, it's it's i dilute it more when i'm doing uh, you know particular but hi amalia you got to get you some dragons yeah they're fun so like i said this Sometimes when you color this, it will it will it will mute the color a little bit. Where this will, when it's whited down, it shows the true color a little bit more. So this one's a little bit darker than this one. So it kind of just depends. Um, like I said, when I do all that work to color ink blend, I like to dilute it when I'm going to paint with it. So there we go, you guys. I'm going to let this sit out because it's wet. Um, we might need to add a little bit of sparkle to some of the. Let's add some sparkle to these white, to these tops of this. But I hope you enjoyed this little trifold card. Um, yeah, you know what? It's it's fun to do it. Like I said, you can add it to a non-sparkly watercolor and it will make it sparkly. Um, I My favorite thing, like I said, is to paint with it. Especially if I just use something white, a lot of times then it just adds that extra little shimmer to the white. So added just a little bit to those peaks of those clouds too. So thank you, you guys. I'm going to leave it with that. And I'm going to get ready to sign off. Of course, I'm going to have to wipe this up just because I'm going to make a mess otherwise. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you for stopping by and um, crafting with me tonight. I will put the dimensions that I used um, in the description box tomorrow. Um, and then when, when I share it on Facebook, you know, then you'll know that I have everything in. But I appreciate y'all. Have a great evening. I will see you next week. And um, check out the release. And have fun crafting, guys. Okay? Good night. Yes, Christopher tomorrow night, live packing Friday. And I believe Christopher's going to be live on Friday for a brief 
two. So 